Welcome to Design Source once again. First of all, Happy New Year to all my subscribers. The funny thing is, right now I have only got two subscribers, but that's fine. Thank you so much for your support, and I love you. Uh, so today we are going to create this artwork in Affinity Designer. So let's get started. So uh, we are going to unsplash.com. Sorry, we are we are already here. Uh, I'm going to search for green. Okay, this one's nice. I think this image will do the work. I will download it. I'm going to drag this image in Affinity. Before that, I'm going to create an artboard by pressing Ctrl N for new artboard and then I'm going to select social media square post which is 1080 by 1080 then I'm going to set the DPI to 300 you can set it to 400 it's up to you then I'm going to create an artboard let's insert an artboard by clicking on the artboard tool and then click on the inside artboard now we got the artboard and we are ready to roll now I will get the image once again from here okay now we'll take the font I think for this creative I'm going to use Gotham I'm going to set it to bold or black would be fine I guess yeah so I'm going to press A and I'm going to increase the size by selecting the edge. I'm going to use align tool. I'm going to align it in the center. Now for the palette. Uh, so we are working with a green color. I'm going to select the green color. And then I'm going to draw a draw rectangle. I'll fill it with green color I'll go to color chooser and then I'll go to the HSL sliders and change the color to light green this is a pastel this is a pastel green okay now I'll select the font layer and by pressing Control shift and the right bracket The layer will be on top of the green layer Okay, now we are going to insert this image inside the font for that For that I'll put the image on top of the font and Then I'll just drag the drag the image layer into the font layer That's it now we want some leaves to be coming out of the font right so for that now we'll double click the font layer and you will see we have selected the image now I'll copy paste it once again by pressing ctrl C and ctrl V now I will get the top image outside the box by dragging it out okay now I will reduce the opacity of the top image now here we will see how many leaves we want out of which are uh, which will be coming out of the A so I want this leaf this one uh, so like one two three four five and I think that's enough so for that I will draw a shape by selecting the paint tool from here and then I'll draw a shape now as you can see my first curve is done so I'll show you what exactly I'm going to do with the other curves so I will select this image and I'll keep the opacity to 100 
and then I'll drag this image into the new curve by selecting it and taking it to the new curve. Now you will see the effect. That curve, that leaf is coming out of the image. See, the same technique I'm going to use for the other curves. So I'll fast forward the process for you guys. Okay, now we are almost done with the curves thing. But as you can see, I've only used three curves because less is sometimes less is good. So now we'll do the same process. So I'm going to duplicate this image by pressing Ctrl J. So now we got two images which are at 31% opacity. And now I'm going to set now I'm going to set their opacity to 100 percent of this image too okay now I'm going to drag the image into those curves first one is done now the second one will also go okay now this is how it looks interesting right now now to make it more interesting let's add some shadow inside the E so for that what what I'm going to do I'm going to change from designer persona to pixel persona after that I'm going to use paintbrush I'm going to select black color as you can see you can paint on it Control Z now I'm going to change brushes so right now it is using acrylics so I'm going to basic then I'm going to use this round soft brush okay this is good uh, now I'll increase the brush size now by holding shift I'm going to uh, make a straight line from top to bottom like this okay now after that okay wait let's undo this now I uh, now with holding shift I'm going to paint the whole layer like this okay now I'm going to put the painted layer inside the curve with the same technique by dragging it now we got what we wanted now let's select the pixel layer and change the and change it to soft light that will do the trick but it's not looking that interesting right so let's play with this thing let's keep it normal and let's go to FX Gaussian blur and change its radius all right but it's still looking mm, okay we can do something else we can reduce the opacity make it look more realistic I think this is looking nice now all right yeah you have to play with it okay I think this is looking fine now let's get back to designer persona okay this is our design I'll select everything by dragging the cursor or you can press ctrl a but that will also select the background so I'll drag with the cursor I'll align okay Fine. so now we are going to add some shadows to these leaves by clicking on it sorry by selecting the layer and then going to effects drop shadow the angle would be 350 315 and then I'm going to change the offset value like this now you can see it's breaking here right so we are going to we are going to increase sorry we are going to play with the curve like that but no it's not working right so what we are going to do we are going to deselect the outer shadow 
I am going to select this curve, make, make a duplicate layer of it by pressing Ctrl J. Now you can drag it till here and adjust like this. Now by double clicking in this, I will delete the inside layer which you can see here. See, now I'll delete it. Now we only got the curve, right? Now I'll select the curve. I'll change it to black. Let's go to effects, Gaussian blur and blur it a little bit and then adjust according to the font layer. Now by, by pressing Ctrl Shift and left bracket and then pressing Ctrl and upper bracket will play, uh, will put the layer behind the leaf and then I'll reduce the fill opacity of it a little bit to make it look more realistic. I need to adjust the position of the shadow. All right, this is fine. I think I need to play with the Gaussian blur. Okay, now this is looking fine. Same technique I'm going to use for these two leaves. Okay, so now what is happening? Mm, all right. So in Affinity, uh, if you want to select the style and copy paste it on the other curve, you need to uh, select the curve, then press Ctrl C and then select the other object and then press Ctrl Shift V. That will do the trick. Then the same curve will have the same exact effects you have given to the previous object. The, the same thing I'll do with this leaf also. All right. We need to delete it. Okay, that's fine. And that's good to go. But I think this leaf is not uh, giving us what we want because of the shadow. So I'm going to delete this curve altogether. I think you got the idea of how we can create such kind of effect in Affinity Designer. So guys, this is it. Thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one.